Hey guys, you're watching Simon and Lally. My name is AJ. Woo, we're going backwards. And we are back on an episode of Let's Build Springfield, episode 30. So I actually had to uh, change servers between last episode and this episode. Luckily, everything was transferred over uh, correctly. I was a little bit nervous about all the micro blocks, if they were all going to transfer over correctly and stuff. But it looks like it has. It looks like it's, uh, it's done perfectly. Even all the NPCs and stuff have transferred over, which is nice. I have also... Installed essentials. Um, apparently, uh, you know, I was having trouble with the uh, the speed. Like, I couldn't sprint when I was in the air, and I was getting like tons of comments saying, "You need to press shift. You need to press control." Uh, it it didn't do anything, and that's because uh, obviously this is a 1.7 server, and I didn't realize in 1.7 you couldn't actually sprint while in the air. So essentials has been installed, which means we can go really, really fast. Yeah, boy, we can now trust. Uh, traverse our our world in great speed uh, load up and it is even uh, great because we can set warps which means we can set a warp at the Simpsons house we can set a warp at the town uh, square here making it even quicker to travel if we so wish really really nice so I'm gonna drop my speed down oops down to five so it's a little bit slower 10 can be a little bit uncontrollable I've started to put a river in here which is um, Quite easy to do with World Edit. World Edit is helping out a lot. It's very rough at the minute. I mean, don't don't <laughs> look at it and go, well, that's that's an awful river. It's just uh, a guideline for me at the moment to set up for what we're doing today. But if you guys want to know how I do this with World Edit, then uh, I can show you. What you do is you get any tool. I've just got an iron axe for the moment, and you have to like bound it to a uh, to a tool. So I'm gonna do slash slash uh, brush. Uh, sphere, if I can spell sphere, I want it to be air, and I want it to be a radius of one. And now, when I right click, it'll do just that. In fact, I've got water underneath it, so that's a bad idea to do. Undo three, do it over here. But wherever I right click, it'll actually replace uh, the blocks with whatever block that I suggested, which in uh, my case, I just set to air. If you set it to a other block. I wonder if I can do it with these. If I do uh, wool. Oh, I think I, I got to bind it to a, a tool. I didn't know I had to. Yeah, you can't bind it to blocks apparently. But anyway, so that's how I done that. And then I just replaced uh, one block below the surface with water. And the reason why I done one block below the surface is because if you do it on the surface level... I always think it looks a bit weird. I like doing it one block down, and then afterwards, what I'll do is I'll go around the edge. Woo! Uh, obviously, I'll do this with World Edit to make it a little bit quicker. Ugh. <laughs> Slow down. No. <laughs> uh, speed two. There we go. Um, I'll go around and I'll replace all the edges here with grass. Uh, obviously, I'll be able to do it quicker in the future, but we'll just do replace. Uh, dirt with grass and uh, and then we get like a little riverbank and I think it looks a lot better than having the water on like the same Y level as the as the rest of the floor it just doesn't look as good so uh, I'm happy with this it's slowly being chiseled out it's going to be a little bit wide it's probably going to be about that wide all the way down it and this river is going to break up the main city with on this side is the power plant, which we're going to be starting at least today. And then it goes into Cletus's farm and more of a sandy area, uh, from what I can gather after looking at a lot of uh, potential Simpsons maps. So, if we go, let's set it to daytime. If we go up here, I did put a little stone block down as a reference point to possibly where we want the power plant to be. Obviously, it's not too far from stuff. We don't want it to be too far away because we've got to fill the, uh, the space in between. But the river is going to come up to roughly here-ish somewhere, which means around here is where we want the power plant to start. And we're going to have big pipes going into the river with uh, all of the sludge coming out, the toxic waste. And in this texture pack, uh, the... Uh, how do I... Oops. There is a way that I can... There we go. Whoops. I nearly died. <laughs> Let me fly. <laughs> Let me fly. Um, how do we do it again? Because I've changed. Is this on creative now? Nope. Change mode to creative. Ah, I need to do that. That's the one. 
after swapping surface, it's a little bit getting used to again. Uh, the lava on this texture pack is actually like the toxic waste for the uh, power plant, which is really, really cool. We'll be taking advantage of that. So the first step that we need to do is uh, we can actually cheat a little bit with World Edit and actually get this uh, these power plants done a little bit quicker. But for the start, what we're going to want to do is get a side shape of the uh, power plant. Okay, so I've got some images uh, beside me on another one of my monitors of uh, of the actual power plant ducts, if you like. What, what are they called? The tubes, the funnels, the... I don't know what exactly they're called. Um, but it's going to be very difficult to try and get the shape right. If we don't get the shape right, it's going to look really weird. But basically, they go in and then they come out. That's the shape of it. They go in a little bit and then they sort of stay in and then they start going out again. Now, I don't really know how tall we want them to be. That's probably a good start, you know, for the minute. I'm going to take this one down and come up here for quite a way. And then we're going to start coming out again here like this uh, uh, something like this how's that looking if we drop back down like if that was the edge of it do you think that looks pretty good I don't think it looks too bad you know yeah I like that I think that's a pretty good start so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna find uh, the line that's or the axis that's in line with this and I'm gonna say about here for the moment and then we're gonna do another command we're gonna do uh, H sill which means a hollow cylinder if we just do sill like this it's going to fill in the well i'll show you uh cylinder we're going to want it made out of stone because it's, i think it's a nice block for the uh the color and we're going to do a radius of let's say for the moment i'm going to do 10 and a height of one so if i hit enter here oops i need to do two slashes at the beginning sorry we get a a, a cylinder shape like a circle shape one block high that we asked for and uh, 10 blocks in diameter or radius diameter is the from there to there radius is from the center yes yeah, so it's a radius 10 block radius sorry not diameter but that's not big enough so let's uh let's well is it sort of big enough for the height no no i don't think so i think what we're gonna do we're gonna undo that Obviously, if you do a solid cylinder, it ends up being uh, a lot more blocks. We don't need it uh, solid. We can have a hollow cylinder of stone. I'm going to do... Let's try 15 blocks and one block high. Okay, so we're pretty close. I'm going to just undo that. And I'm going to do 16 blocks in diameter, which will be in line with that. And that's going to give us, let's put down the center block. That's going to give us the uh, the circle of our power plant. Now, what do you guys think? After putting this circle down, I don't think that this is high enough. I think this needs to go a little bit higher. So let's go back up here. Let's, whoops. I like the start of it. I just think it starts getting wider a little bit too early. Just slightly too early. Let's um, knock this down just a little bit as well. And then we're going to come up here. And then... Oh, my dog's barking at... Oh, yes, yeah, someone's there. <laughs> Some, someone's at my gate. That's all right. I'll, um, I'll look at that later. Okay, so let's uh, come up here. In fact, I might have to just pop away for a second to wonder what's going on. I'll do that. Let me just go and find out what exactly is going on. And I shall be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. It was nothing to do with uh, nothing to do with me. How are we getting on then? So we've got this dropping in. You know, that's it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty big. Good. It's big. It's big. But then again, these power plants—they're not small, are they? <laughs> they're not going to be a small place. What do we think of this? Hmm. I like that. I like that. I can see the shape of it. I can see sort of how it's going to turn out. So now the sort of cheaty part is what we're going to do is we're going to stand on top of this block. We're going to get our cylinder command back. We're going to go up and up here and do it again. 
And what we're going to do is we can speed up when we get to a certain point. But every time it drops in one, so let's go up one more. Like this. So now the level is now in level line with that. What we're going to do is we're going to come in one. So we're going to do a radius of 15 blocks. And ooh, how many high? One, two, three, four blocks high. So we're going to do 15 by four. And we've got it up here. One, two, three, four. And then we want to go in. Uh, how many blocks up? One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe five, it looks like to me. So we're going to do 14 by five blocks. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. And then, what's that like? Four blocks, I think. 13 by four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Ooh, was that right? I think so. 12 by 4, probably. Hmm. I think we were one block out, weren't we? Undo. Um, I know we might be right. No, it's, it's just a lot higher. But yeah, so now we're starting to get the tube built so much quicker. I mean, how unbelievably fast is that, truly? So we want 1, 2, uh, let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so six this time. Let's come back here. Fall on there. So we're going to go uh, 12 by six, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, probably add another one, in fact. Huh, huh, huh. Four, five, six. Oh, no, don't fall. Ooh. Back up the top. One. There we go. And then come in another one. How many blocks is this now? Let's count it again. One, two, three, four, five. Let's come back here. Oh man, it's so fast. It's unbelievable. 11 by five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is a tough one. We want to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fall back down again. Uh, 11 by 5, 10 by 11. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, is that right? That looks so wrong to me. Oh, no, no, no. That's right. Yeah, because we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. And now we're going to drop down one because we're getting wider. And we want it by 1... Two, three, no, one, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, the mental arithmetic's going on right now. <laughs> 11, oh, what was it? 11 by 11? Nope, I forgot the number. Undo. What was it? <laughs> I hate numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I think I'm gonna fall by seven. So we're getting wider again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm very, very interested to see how this turns out. Uh, I'm going to guess here. I'm going to do 12 by 7 again. No, nope, that's wrong. Undo uh, 12 by 5. One, two, three, four, five. By one. One. And then 13 by 5, it looks like to me. Uh, by six. That'll work out fine. Okay, so let's have a look at this. I know we've got a little bit of blocks missing, but what's the shape like? It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. Maybe with a little bit of tweaking, possibly the base needs to be a little bit wider. But we are so close to something really, really spectacular here. In fact, do I like it like that? I think I just like it like that, you know. It's obvious what it is. And it's the nice, it's, it's, it's a great height for it. I'm going to remove this one. Obviously, I need to go around and either place them in there like that. Or like that. Yeah, I'll probably do something like that. I'll move them both for the minute. I'll do that uh, later on. But that looks, that looks pretty good. Also, while we're here... I want to see if we can, we'll double click that. I want to see if we can actually try and get the um, 
atomic logo on it. I don't know how well it's going to go. What side should we put up? Oh, hiccups. What side should we put on this side? So the atomic logo is like a U shape or, or like a, an O shape like that. And then it's that way and that way. So we're going to have to do it a lot bigger if we do want it. I want. I, I would really like to try and get it in if possible. Because I think it's going to be so cool if we can actually fit it in. Microblocks might be better for this. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so there's that one. And then we need... I'm going to do this down here. And... Hmm. Like that. Oops. Give it a chance. Give, it a, give me a second. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like that, like that. And then we need this one will be there and there. Give me a second. Hmm. <laughs> Not quite yet. Yeah, it's coming. Ish. I don't know how happy I am with it yet. Like that. Uh, uh, it's not bad. I like that one better than that one. And it's easier to do as well. Oops. I think that's what it was. And then on this side, do the same thing. If it doesn't look right, if you guys don't like it, let me know in the comment section. And we'll be able to uh, to fix it, probably with microblocks or something like that. You know, that's not bad though. The shape is there. I think the further away we are, the more like it it looks. Back here, it looks like it. Up close, not so much. But anyway, let me just do a quick tweak on like these gaps here, the these holes, and I'll come back once we've got a sort of completed uh, tube funnel. Tower. Tower, that's it. Cooling towers. That's what they are, aren't they? Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, so a little bit of tweaking. Rounded off a little bit here. Not too much, but we did get something that looks uh, a little bit better. I think this is looking pretty good. I'm very, very impressed. And there is actually something that we can potentially do to this to make it even better, okay? Obviously, we can add... Uh, the other one. We can copy and paste this whole thing if we wanted to to get the second one. But I want to try out something a little bit weird. Okay, so I'm going to take the brush off this one. And we're going to set a new brush uh, of a sphere. Now, I haven't tried this, so if this goes wrong, I do apologize. And I want it wool black. And then how do I do it? Is it a comma? Let me try it. Will, if it's not, then I can do it separately afterwards. Will grey, I think that's how you spell it. And will, um, I want dark grey as well. But is it actually under dark grey? We'll find out. And will white. And then, I don't know, what, three? Right, what error have we got? Sphere pattern. Okay, then. No problem. Uh, I'm going to just change it to uh, wool black for now, then. If that works. There we go. Okay, so we can actually make some smoke coming out the top here. Now, it's probably gone through. Yeah, it's gone through, but that's no problem. There we go. There we go. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to pretty much randomly get some spheres off here. Just to start off with. To get, like, a base of smoke coming out the top. It's going to be pluming. Pluming. I'll tidy this up in a minute. Don't worry about that. We can we can change that really, really easily. Okay, so let's get this bit of smoke. What way do we want the wind to go? I think the wind should go over that way. So we're going to bring up these spheres up in this direction. Something like this as well. Haha. Uh -huh. Maybe a little bit underneath it. Get a little bit of, um, get a little bit of shape to the smoke. Okay, that's nearly good it's a little bit thin in some places so let's place some on top here try and build it up a little bit more i don't want right on the floor 
a little bit more around this area and up the, the top. Yeah. Now, obviously, we can go absolutely crazy. We can smooth it off and do all sorts. But for the moment, that's a pretty good smoke plume. And now, I think... I might be wrong here. I might, I might be catastrophically wrong. But I think if we come out here... Something like this. And we're going to select from there. And we're going to go up to... Uh, 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 to there. And we're going to... This might go terribly wrong. But replace wool black with wool uh, black wool... Gray and wool white. Just see if that works. Yeah. Yeah. Um is it light gray then? Is this light gray? Light gray wool. Okay, so let's replace it with um wool light gray, is it then? There we go. So it's it randomizes it, completely randomizes it for us. I think the white Looks too clean. So let's take out wool white. What color have I got now? <laughs> wool black, wool gray. Oh, is that really? No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've still got white wool in here. Uh, replace. Oh, because we're just replacing wool black. Replace. Um. We need all of these, don't we? We need wool white. Yeah, replace these with wool black, wool gray, and wool. Oh, oh, yeah, wool gray, wool light gray. Is that gonna work? Yeah, there we go. So now we've taken out all the white. I think we've got a much more natural looking smog, pollution-y smoke. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for some some basic world edit there. I really like it how it completely randomizes the block. It also makes uh, it very easy to make gravel paths as well. I can show you that in a in a future episode. Uh, in fact, I can show you now. I think we've probably got enough time. I think that's great. I think that's really good. But if you wanted to make a uh, a really basic path like gravel and dirt, like how we do. On quite a few series, you can just do uh, replace or set. It doesn't really matter, but I just like the replace command better. Grass with um, grass and gravel. And then you get a completely randomized uh, path of gravel and uh, grass in it. We do it a lot on, on many, many series, but that's a very quick way to be able to do it using World Edit. But anyway... I think that's pretty cool. Should I try and crash the server and build a sec and uh, and copy and paste the whole lot? Should I? Probably not. It's probably a terrible idea, but let's try it anyway. So we want it from. Whoops. No. Oh man. And I've probably run over time now because I'm playing around with this. Let's do it from there. I won't take the smoke. I don't want to copy the smoke anyway. I think that would be a bad idea. Uh, because we don't want the smoke to be exactly the same. We obviously want different smoke from both of the different um, things. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. Something like that. There to there. That should grab it all by the looks. Uh, grab that one. And this might crash. I don't know. I have no idea. I hope it doesn't because I've got some more recording that I want to do today. And I don't want the hassle of getting this server back up and running again. So let's go from here. And we shall copy. How many blocks is that? 63. No, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to copy 64,000 blocks all in one go. Uh, in fact, no, wait a minute. If we do uh, copy minus air. Minus air, is it? Hmm. I can't remember. Copy minus air. No, I, I, I can't remember how to do it. If we can take out the uh, the air blocks in there. 
Uh, oh no, wait a minute. Copy. If we paste minus air, it might not crash. <sighs> I'm so scared. Paste minus air. Okay, it's not. It's not going to let me do it. Okay, I don't. I don't want to crash the server anyway. We're going to leave it there for this episode. I'll probably do it in two bits. I'll do half of it and then do the top half. If you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We should see you in the next episode. Bye. Thank you.